Good afternoon, everyone. It's the mm -hmm. afternoon. It's quite late in the afternoon. And it's because I've been procrastinating. have been on the telephone to my sister too and my mum. So that's an excuse. So we're up to day 37 of the 100 Day Project. And this is from Victoria. Now, Victoria has really thrown us a doozy. Um, that's why I'm procrastinating. Because it's totally out of my... Um, totally out of my um, comfort zone. It's inspired by watercolour backgrounds. <laughs> so, I have the Arteza paints out. In paints. Um, watercolour pens. Um, I did this the other day. I actually saw it was inspired by my clever daughter, Lulu. She um, had done this with her watercolour pencils. And so, I, um, I did it with the um, pens and so this is in theory the solid color and then just watered down a little bit so I can see and it's actually really really helps to do that and I wrote down the colors in very messy writing I'll keep that open so I've watched um, a few videos on how to use the watercolors and I have been mucking around and so not me but anyway I've done these watercolor backgrounds here just playing around with it um, and so I thought maybe this is kind of dry I thought maybe um, I'll have a go at making it me so <laughs> but I want to just tell you um, I've been playing around with this one too I like this idea of that I've seen people do I don't this is not inspired by any one person but I like this idea of um, doing these markings and I just wanted to show you um, just a couple of things that I, I've kind of learned but I need to practice I'm not very good at this um, you know how, how to use them so basically I know some I think someone might have suggested that in the comments you can just put water on this is mixed media paper so it is warping a little bit but um, I didn't want to use um, 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 uh see that so you just go like this and it and then it will and then and then what happens is the water draws out the the color in the pen so it goes lighter and then you can can blend it so and then you can come along with a, a paintbrush i've been using this big flat brush because just because it um you know it spreads the color faster so you just can Sort of take it further if you want to so that's wetting the paper and I should have thought of that because my friend who's quite good at watercoloring she she had told me that um, even with regular watercolors the other thing that you can do which I haven't got down pat I better get a different one so basically yeah you'll see that these tips they become almost white um, but if you then um, go on a, re a piece of paper and just color the color does come back so it's just because the water takes the color out. So I just don't find one where I haven't, um, where I do have some color in there. So this is red. Um, and you can just get your, like your watercolor brush. I'll just squirt some water, make sure it's wet. And you can, um, you can color your brush. You can get color on your brush. And then you'll get a very pale color if you want lighter, which I really thought that was cool to see that. So you can colour your brush, but you can also use your brush to take out some of the colour from the pen. So then when you go with the pen, see that? You get the lighter shade without putting water onto the paper. So I thought that was really cool. And then there where I've overlapped it, I would just come along with some water and hopefully blend it a bit. So um, here, this effect came because I had wet the paper. And then it sort of moved. And the same here, it just sort of spread out. And I really like that. Um, yeah, so that's just how I, I'm creating my background. is just mucking around with the colours, really. Not doing a very good job. But, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something that I'm not used to. And I'm not really a painter, as you know. So, um, something that I fancy doing. But I'm actually not one. So, this one, I'm just taking the water to it afterwards. Now that's watercolour, the, the, the little Vs and the, the markings are with the watercolour, the brush, because I like the feel of it. Um, so I use that. So if I get water on those, they'll run. And that's just how I'm sort of blending my, 
my backgrounds. So yeah, so that will have to dry. So I'm going to put away all of the pens and I'll put the links. So I do have affiliate links um, for Arteza products because um, I'm an affiliate member. And so uh, yeah, I get a small percentage. I couldn't think of my words. Um, but at no extra cost to you. And I also at the moment still have a current discount code that you can use for their products. So I saw in the UK these were sold out. But they, I, they, they, I do have an affiliate link um, also for other products. So if there's the one with a different number of them in, then that might be available and you can get that. So I'll just quickly put these away. I don't remember where they go. So I'm probably mixing it all up. I probably should be careful of that because I... Um, that's a blue because um, I've done them in my sort of color chart and um, and that way it's easier to find them without having to read them all the time uh, that one of those it goes in what there the green uh, blue goes over here maybe about there I don't know I'm putting them in the wrong order it doesn't matter and then that one goes there that one goes over here and goes in there and I do like the fact that they've got these trays that you can, you keep them, you keep them out on your table. And it's very easy to sort of pull your colours out. Now that one went there. Nearly done. Okay, so I'll put those over there out of the way. Um, and I'll put this one, I don't, don't need my water right now. I don't need that. And I'm just going to put this over here and that can dry. That was just a piece of paper. Okay, so I've got this here that I've done and then this, this bit here will do. That was left over for when I did the, the demo sort of thing. Um, so, and I did have these. I was wondering if there was anything in here that I could play with. No, probably not. I love that. I'm going to do some more of those. I'd already forgotten about that, you see. Um, okay. No, oh, I could finish that one too. Okay, good. Right. I wish I had 48 hours in a day. I really do. I just, the day just flies away. It's already gone. Oh, I left a pen out. It's already gone. And, um, nearly time to cook dinner and do exercise. Well, actually, beyond doing exercises, I usually are doing them about now. So, hopefully, I'm not naughty and, and don't use it as an excuse to skip. What, Lulu? Oh, your hot chucky. I hope I didn't put my face in the video. Oh, this is going to be a struggle, my Look, dear. Granny. Beautiful, Lulu. This is going to be a struggle, what I'm going to do now. What I thought I'd do is vintage it up. I don't know. Should I? Maybe I'll put some markings on it here and there. Why don't we do that first? Now, somewhere here in this mess, in this mess, yes, it's a mess. Well, not really. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as usual. I've got all kinds of things going on. I've got some pens. I've got a. I've got that regular pen there. Let me just bring it over. So uh, this is full of pens and things. Um, I have a brush pen. That's a Tombow. I don't want the Tombow one. I had a this one. It's just a a Japanese one, I think. So I wonder how that one will go. Let me just test it over here. Oh, yes, it's, it's quite, it's not as brushy as the other one is. It's um quite stiff, but I quite like that. So I'm just going to do some little dashes here and there. Not a lot. I'm just going to close my door, Mommy. Oh, are you going on the phone call? Yeah. With your wacko friends? Mm hmm Okay. So I'm just going to do that. We won't be here all day doing this. I'm just going to do kind of like stitches. Goodness knows what I'm going to make. Honestly, this is really tough for me. But you never know. I might hate it or I might love it. I might discover something new. You never know. I'm thinking I'm probably not going to like it. But anyway. Um... Oh, 
I won't do too many because I might not use I might cover them up you see could easily cover them up okay we'll just do a few I don't want to be here all day radio okay so I think I want some collaging papers this is really scary really scaring me we go i've got my first piece i'm going to do some collage on here that might get me going now where's my glue book blue book where are you where are you blue book oh down there got you so i guess um inspiration where where would inspiration have come from for this oh. well robin marie smith she she collages over things that she's painted but I can't I can guarantee you this is nothing like what Robin does her work is amazing she's got a free video up at the a free course up at the moment I haven't finished watching it but I've watched half of it um totally wonderful totally makes me feel you know like oh I can't do that I can't do that and so then I get all like a anxiety I know that I can't do that but anyway I am going to pay for her course and get the full on and literally sit down there and do it that's what I'm going to do but then I think you know I wonder what what makes me hesitate is I wonder um that's that's Robin that's not me so then so then um would I would if I learn that maybe I would just do it for pleasure or would I be able to incorporate it into what I make or is it just such a different style that it wouldn't work I mean I wouldn't do it exactly obviously the same as Robin because I'm me and she's Robin but um I don't know what I'm doing guys I'm just sticking bits of paper down that's all I might do in the whole video for my inspiration watercolor backgrounds it might be just glued bits of paper on a watercolor background because that's what you might get we will see very 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 difficult for me very difficult now let's see what else we have oh oh i know what i wanted to do I forgot I wanted to do some stamping. Just a sec. Oh, excuse me. I have to lean over. Oh, and I want to get... Oh, I have a brown. I like brown. I'm just a brown girl. I like brown ink. No, maybe I would like black. I don't know. What's this? Versafine. Got all these different ones to try. I've got no, I'm no... I don't think I've even ever pulled this one out. Look at that. I'm going to try that one. Uh, now... I think I don't want these. Oh, I like that one. I'll do that one in brown, though. Um, no, I'm going to grab this one. Excuse me. This one here. I love having um, my... No, don't like that. Do I want... Yes, I'm going to have black. I am. I like having my stamps in those drawers. I will say that. I'm scared. This is scaring me. <gasps> Should I do it? Okay. Done. Okay, a bit more. You probably all thinking, oh gosh, you're messing it up, girl. I won't do it everywhere. Put some. There. Okay. Well, that's that. Maybe a little bit more over there. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, yeah, so I was talk what was I talking about, Robin? I was talking about the Robin. Well, I've got these transparent things here too. I wonder what I could see through those. Oh, I could stick that down. Oh, isn't that going to be nice somewhere? Stick that up there. Oh, I'll just hold on to that. I wanted to see what this would look like. I might just tear around it. Um, yes, I was wondering um, if it's a bit sort of out of my box. I might need to stay in my box and not get out of it. I 
But I still, I do think I would like to try. Maybe I could just do it for my enjoyment. It might not work with, you know, what I normally do. So, but I could certainly try it for my, for fun and to expand my horizons. I was wondering if something like that would be nice. It's gone a bit dark. Mm, don't know. Could be good, maybe up here. Kind of weird. And I don't like the colour on there. Got one that's brownie. But then what would I do? I don't mind it up there. there okay well that we'll leave that out I don't know oh, I printed out a lot pinky mm hmm I think first I need to put some more things down. Like and and if if I were if this was um, Robin, she would be she'd have her gesso out and her acrylic paints and she'd be doing all these incredible markings and she has pastels and all kinds of fun things that she plays with. She's very clever. A nice piece of it's textural. Don't know. Now, as I mentioned, we don't know what this is all going to become yet. I've got no idea. Put an advertisement on somewhere. No. Might put some music paper. What about some music paper? And I might just cover up. Oh, I like that Figaro. I might cover up. I put that there. Oh, there I was going to put it. Well, some things never change. Even if I'm doing a different project, I do still forget within five seconds of what 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 I was going to do. No. I put that there. I'm sure you can guess this is gonna oh it's getting on my glue. Oh no it's not. Um this is going to be cut up. I know that much. I'm gonna cut it up. So I'm just you will have um, bits of the watercolour background peeping out but it's going to be cut right put some glue on Um, maybe what else can I put on there? I think some more book page. I don't I'm trying to. I'm just keeping it a little bit. Um, just sort of the plainer sort of papers. Nothing too colourful at the moment. I think I'll stick that there like that, and then I think I might cut it, and then I'll see better. What I might like to do. Now let me just see one second quickly here. Oh, I don't mind that. It's a bit busy, I think. 
Okay, let's cut it up and see what happens. It might be a video of here's what not to do. That's what the video might end up being. Okay, so where's my... Here's my cutter. I don't know if this paper will fit in this one. This will. Okay, so I think I will cut this as two journaling cards. Oh, then it won't be very big. Um, okay, well, I might keep it like that then. And I think I'll cut... Oh, I know, I'll cut the journaling cards from there. Oh, it's actually quite pretty cut up. I quite like it. And one, two journaling cards. Like that. Oh, I don't mind it. Hello. Well, I was really fretting. I mean, it's not done yet. Let, I think, well, first of all, I would back that. I'll do that after. Let's have a play with this. So I can put a little bit more on here now. I might put a little bit of music paper. music paper here. Now they are quite bright for me. It's not that bright. It's, I don't know what I'm going on about. They are washed out. No, I don't think I want to cover up any more. Okay, this one. So you could have it that way or that way. I actually like that, and I really like that too. So these could be side tucks, or you could trim them down. And I think I might, where would I trim that one down? I don't want to lose all my bits. I could trim that down there. They could be a belly band. Okay. Um, right. Just thinking... I don't think I want maybe just a tiny piece of that. I don't want to cheat and cover up all my background. Okay, so what I was thinking, I'm just going to pull out my, these are these um, that I stamped the other day. And I'm wondering. like to stamp something like this uh, not stamp stick this down I quite like that there so I think I need to practice with the colors and see if I can um, even though they're quite pastely um, I don't know somehow I feel like I need to somehow sort of um, not grunge them because I don't do grungy but tone them down in such a way that they will fit in with what I normally do I don't know if that makes any sense now I could have a piece of this somewhere I don't want to cover up all the background so I'm just seeing if I might like that's from the graphics fairy that one Yeah, something like that would be good. I think the other one wasn't doing it for me because I need, I'm, I'm feeling like I need to tone down the colours a little bit. Says Shen, look what I pull out. Pull that one out. I am bumbling along. Oh, there's a stamped bit. I like that. Pull those out. That one out. I like these. Maybe we'll get a little bit of script. I like the script is always a good option. Okay, let's have a look. 
So I quite like that one. I could put it there. I could put it there. I think I like it there. Just where I sort of plumped, plumped it before. I look forward to seeing what my sister will do with this. She's, she's actually she's very tired at work, so she's a little bit behind. Um, but she'll try and catch up towards the weekend. But um, she's very good at this sort of stuff, using colours. It's much more com I'm I lack confidence. She's much more confident than I am with this sort of thing. So once she gets the idea, um, she'll do something fabulous. No, no. I feel like I might like a little, or maybe I might like this one more. No, this one. I'm just going to take that off. I didn't want to cover all that green up because I do like it. I like that there. Oh, there. Maybe I'll cover up that blue. But I quite like the blue. Oh, I'll put it there. Or will I put it there? I'll put it there. Okay. Decisions. I'll have to stop myself or I'll probably cover up the whole background. Now let's see what else we have here. That might be all right there. That's from the graphics fairy, that one. It's not in my it's not in my kit. I could put that there, but I do lose that nice bit there. Put it there. Um, okay, let me see here if there's anything here. Oh, I don't mind that. I think I'll put that there. Now, I'm not quite sure. I think this might have to become a belly band. Or I could trim it off, actually. And make it into a tag. But anyway, it can be a belly band. You can see I've got stuff all over me, ink and paint. So I think that one's all right. And then I haven't played with that one. I'm thinking I'm going to put that one there. And what do I have here? I've got... Oh, I don't mind that. Just finding my position. I think I liked it there. Kind of ties in with the, the blue blobs that I put in the background. I'm sorry if you hate this project, but really is pushing me, pushing my boundaries. Okay. I am going to put that there. So that's that. Okay, and then I've got this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to add something else. Let's just have a that quick look. Don't mind that. Maybe I like that on here. I wanted to trim that bit off. Just let me do that. Because oh, I think I'm going to make this into a big tag. I don't want to lose the, that writing. I like the writing. I've gone crooked. It moved. <laughs> there we go. And I might just trim a tiny bit off the bottom. Okay. See, I like those colours. Those colours are good. These muted sort of colours. I won't cut my tag shape yet. Okay, so I've got that. And I'm thinking I might cover those markings. Or do I like the markings? I don't know. You see? I don't know. I think I'll cover them. So you don't keep everything that you've done. The, the joy is just experimenting and, and mucking around. Well, yes, it is a joy, unless you get stressed. Um, I like that. That's good. That one's good. 
I need to look at this one, see if there's anything else that needs to go on here. I've got music there. I could put a little bit of music there without covering up too much. I'm thinking about that. Oh, I don't mind that. That. Okay, I think that base is ready. I'm liking these now. And then this one, I was very stressed about doing this, I will tell you, very stressed. I might just like a teeny tiny piece of that somewhere, no. I think I'll just put, I'm just going to put for the moment the, the piece of music there. And then we'll see. That's a little piece of music there. And now what have I got here? I'll have to stamp another page, won't I? In the end, I didn't use any of the see-through ones, but I felt like there's so much going on in the background that really you don't want to put too much. No, I don't think I want a number on these. No, okay. Right, now the next job is, if I can find them, where have they gone? Oh, here, right in front of me. I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to attempt to do my usual. So let's see what we have in here. I haven't put any of this away because I've been using it. So, oh, I quite like that. Okay. It's an option. You know, we have to try everything. Mm. I don't mind the bird. I wish it didn't cover up. I like that bird, but I wish it didn't cover up my number. Because I like the number. What about on this one? I don't mind that. That's an option. Okay, keep options out. And here we could have... No, don't worry, I'm not going to go through all, all of it. I'm going to get down here to the bigger things. Well, that's a bit of fun. got stripes on it that one okay let's look at this one if it can go it covers up the nine I did like that on there covers it up too much oh that's all right talk about struggle 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 I wish I put my nine over there now. I do like that one on there. Oh, someone was asking me, I haven't answered my comments for a few days, I will. Um, where do I get my birds and flowers? Um, a lot of them come from the bio, the heritage bio, the biodiversity library, whatever it's called. Um, yep, yeah, that's where they come from. Oh, some are from the graphics fairy. Don't mind that. Yeah, some are from the Graphics Fairy, um, like this one, I, or did Steffi cut this one out for me? I can't remember. Um, 
Yep, so yeah, they just come from a variety of places. The Graphics Fairy um, has a lot and the Biodiversity Library has a lot that are um, in the public domain. I really do like these colours on here, but I don't want to lose my nine. Why am I so attached to the nine? I'm just checking. I like that. And I like that, but still, you can't cover the nine. And you know me, I will try everything until I'm satisfied that I have looked at it all. Those of you who know me, that's what you get. It's pretty. I didn't mind that one, but I have moved it on. I think I like the, the first one on that one. Oh, aren't these nice? I like these. See, I should have put my nine over there. Oh, dearie me. Okay. I think, well, oh, I like that too. Maybe I'll have that. I'll try that one and the bird. You see, I came down to the last one. Oops, wasn't that pretty? And I think I'll put that one on there. Oh, and that one's going on there. Okay. So let me test now. Was that painful? I hope it wasn't too painful. Am I, I better be recording because I don't want to go through all of that again. Oh, thank heavens. <gasps> oh, what a stress. Okay, so... Let's see. So let's just look at one at the t at a time. Talk about pushing my limits. So there's that one that could go there. I could have no, no. Okay, I won't put anything else. It would just be that or the bird. Which way does? How does the bird go? But then the bird would need something else. I think I like the flower. I'm going to do the flower. After all of that. To be fair, I did find the flower towards the bottom. So I'll just glue that very carefully. Oh my goodness, this was a tough one. Tough, tough, tough. There are quite a few tough ones in there for me. We'll get there in the end. With a little bit of pro procrastination in the middle. Okay, and where is my, where's my card? I don't know where it is. It's under my mess. Okay, so we'll just use this. There we go. And I do like that now. And I'll back that and, and I'll put some lace, I think, at the top. Yes, and that will become a journaling card. I may just trim down that little bit there. Let's see. Just so it's a better shape. Just a little bit. I don't want to lose too much. I did lose the blue there, but I think I like that better like that. So that's a journaling card. Okay. Now here, I do like this. It's very it makes it very pretty if you put the pale butterfly. Just let me test another some other butterflies because we do have other options here. I might like something more. No. Don't mind that one. Nope. Nope. After this pretty soft one, I think I like this one the best. Okay, let's glue the flower down. See, the thing about the painting is I'm, I'm not confident with the painting. And so it's something that I don't really um, like doing on video because I'm. It makes me nervous. I mean, I'm nervous off video with that, um, and so on video is even worse. And that's going to go like that. Actually, I wanted to trim that off. I wonder if I can. Can I slide my flower up? I can a little bit. I'm just going to trim it. I'll have to trim it off there. I'm going to put the butterfly there. Thank you, 
Okay, and so let's trim. I'll fall off my. I'm so so thing about this that I'm even sitting on the edge of my seat. I'm right on the edge of it. I'll probably flop off it at any time. It's a possibility. And I'll cut the tag shape afterwards. So when I I'll finish them off off camera, and then I'll put the photograph on um, what's it called Instagram. And I like this one. I'm happy with this. Even though it covers a lot of the... It doesn't cover up the watercolour, though, a lot. It covers up that. But that's okay. That's not my, my focus point. That's just peeking out the back. It's just there for support. It's there for support. That's all it's there for. It's not there to be a primary feature. Okay, so I'll put that there. I'm actually going to give this one a little... Oh, I trimmed off the top, didn't I? I've already trimmed the top and bottom, so no, I won't trim it anymore. But I might... <laughs> I might get a Tracy label out, because that might... It might suit. It might. Let me see if I can get in there. Oh, I quite like that. I'm going to keep it down, toned down. This one of her specimen. Oh, that's what, what else I did. I had to, um, I sorted out my file for Tracy because I had all the papers just in one folder, not in their separate folders for what the kits are. And it was a bit of a mess. So I, I tied that up. That took a while. And then I'm sticking this bird here. I'm going to put it over there, I think. Or am I going to put it here and put and put my fingers are sticky so I can pick things up with them I could put a butterfly no I don't want a butterfly I could put a stamp do you have any stamps out? I don't think so or we can put an ad look at that empty empty Tracy Tracy label page no I wonder if I might like a stamp more. I might like a stamp. Let's get let's not be lazy. Let's grab a stamp. I think stamps are in this one. Oh, doing this out of my comfort zone. I have the biggest mess. I've got hardly any room on my table. There's that much stuff pulled out. Now we could go blue. I love these old Italian stamps. I'll show you here. I think I might glue my bird down. Why don't I do that? That might be a clever thing to do. Glue the bird. Okay, um, let me see, quite like that one, also it's quite faded, it looks watercolory. Yeah, I think I'll put that one on there. I like this, um, it's kind of a brownie, reddy, pinky sort of colour. I like it with the blue behind. Here we go. Right. That's done. Okay, so that is my project, guys. It was very stressful. I'm going to um, put glue on the back. I'm going to stitch around them. As I said, I'll photograph them. They're just going to have... Um, I think I found that I had all these printouts actually um, of my coffee dyed paper kits. So I think I'm going to use them and glue them to that and stitch around so they can be used for writing. 
They're on a nice, heavy, um, mixed media paper. So they're already thick. I'll just do that quickly now so you can see um, when they're cut out. Now, is this one going to be too tall for what's left on this paper? That is the million dollar question. I think it's going to be okay. Let me see. Yes. That can go there. And I can glue this one here. They are pretty when you put them next to each other. So in the in my downtime, yeah, right, um, I might just, you know, randomly, I am probably, well, I hope I would improve a little bit um, playing around with the colours. And um, and then I can have watercolour backgrounds ready. Because once you sort of, now that I've covered up all the, the bits that for me were really standing out like a sore thumb, um, I actually quite like them. Like this one here, I love. I love that now, the, that colour combination. So this could be a new thing, you see. So then I wanted to just um, cut my tag shape with this one. Nice big chunk of monka tag this is, because the paper's thick. You could actually, because the paper is thick, you could actually, which that idea has sort of come from my sister, um, you could just put the sewing paper on the back. That could also be a good option, so that they're not, you know, thicker. Because this is also, the, the paper I've glued on the back is also printed on the 120. Um, so it's, it's you know, thicker than regular copy paper. I bet it was my test when I first printed out the kit. I had printed it out on that paper. I mean, they've been out forever. I, I couldn't, I just had moved this pile of papers and I found them. thought I might as well use those. And I want them all to be a tag shape, I think. So that one's like that. So I couldn't really do the watercolour background, like, you know, the, all of it on the video because um, it wouldn't have dried. Well, I would have, I could have stopped and started, but um, I didn't want to do that. So I had one that I had just finished and then I started mucking around with the other one and then I thought I'll turn the video on and just show you and explain what I've been doing. And, um, yeah. Okay, so that's that. And this one, I wanted to round the corners. Okay, so that's going to be with rounded corners. I like that. And I need to do this one. And I'm going. I'm going to put that one on the music on the, on the music paper on the <laughs> sewing paper. Let's put that one on the sewing paper. So I'll just get my glue on here. I'll probably make a big mess now because I'm not working with a clear space. Okay, so I think I'll get it where there's no markings on it. I hope this was okay, guys. Really difficult for me. It did remind me of my those yummy Arteza pro, um, videos I did. The, the, the um, samples, I wanted to say. I, I like those. I have to revisit them one day. Yeah. 
There you go. You add just another dimension to what you're making with some watercolour. Okay, let's see if I can make this one round as well. I probably won't like the... No, it doesn't really like the, um, the pattern paper, but you can just trim that off afterwards. There we go. Okay, got it done. I really do like that. So thank you for suggesting that. That was stressful, but fun. In the end, it was fun. I'm quite happy. I've got pretty soft colors in the background. And there you have it. There we go. I look forward to seeing what you do, Susie. I reckon you'll be good at this. Um, yep, so a bit of fun there. Sarah will probably use um, proper, you know, not proper. Not that they're not proper watercolours, but watercolour, watercolour. Um, yeah, so I also wanted to say that Arteza has a great video showing how to use their um, watercolour pens as well. Um, which I, if you bought them or you have them, I recommend watching that because that's where I picked up. I watched a few videos. I watched another girl do a video, but they were a different brand of pens. And that was helpful, but also the Arteza one was very good. So look at the ink everywhere. Um, yep, yeah, so I highly recommend watching that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you liked what I made, and I will see you again soon. Bye.